In this video, I'm going to go over how you use the Euclidean algorithm to find the greatest common divisor, the GCD. The greatest common divisor, as I'm sure you can figure out, is the largest number, the largest divisor that will go into both of two numbers. Um, why would I want to do this? Uh, well, different reasons. One of which would be because lots of problems, there's lots of things you can only do if the GCD is 1. It's an assumption for a lot of proofs and stuff. So it's important that you can show that the GCD is or is not 1. And I'm sure there's lots of other reasons too, but that's just uh, one that I've come across a lot. So for our example, compute the GCD of 482 and 1180. First, I take the bigger number, whichever one it is, and put it out front here. And I say it equals the smaller number times something plus something, where the plus something is the remainder. Like I wrote over here, 1180 divided by 482 is 2, with a remainder of 216. So I can write this over here as 1180 equals 482 times 2 plus 216, the remainder. So now that we've set up that initial, we can start our scooting over process. We take what's in the blue position here, move it over to the green position, take the remainder, move it over to the blue position, and do the same thing again. 482 divided by 216 is 2 with a remainder of 50. Um, and we do that again, move the blue over to the green, and the remainder over to the blue. And we say that 216 equals 50 times 4 plus 16. Um, note that the remainder, start over here, and then it goes over to the divisor position, or divisor on the bottom, and then it goes over to the dividend position, the green spot on the top, and then it goes off and gets ignored. So that's your general um, process right there. So we do the same thing over and over and over again until we get down to zero here. We see that we end up with 16 equals 2 times 8 plus 0. The remainder is 0. And we know that the last non-zero remainder is the GCD. So once we get to here, we go up 1, which is not zero right here, this remainder is not zero, it is two. Therefore, the GCD of 482 and 1180 is two. So whatever we wanted to do that required a GCD of one is not going to happen with these two numbers. Um, if you would like another example, I have another video, see the link in the description.